Hi everyone, today is a really fun video for me to make and it's also a really fun video for you connoisseurs of anything which is utterly amazing and brilliant. Yes, I'm going to be talking about something in my vintage makeup collection. I haven't done a video about this, my collection for ages. I think it's because I slightly overdosed around the time that my book came out. So I've had a breather on it all, but I recently posted on my Instagram a picture of Audrey Hepburn because it was her birthday and I had bought her lipstick in uh, 2017 so I mentioned on the Instagram that happy birthday Audrey and you know I'm so happy that I own her lipstick and I feel like I own a little piece of her and how excited I was about that and then the response was overwhelming so many people were like wow you never said that you bought her lipstick and why have you not done a video about it so today's the day so how did this come about well i had a tip off that some of her most prized possessions were going to be coming up for auction at christie's none of her really special personal items have ever been auctioned since her death but i knew that well i'd heard that it was her sons that were going to be creating this auction so i knew it was going to be something special my hope was that this lipstick holder that was given to her around the mid 50s by Cartier that was made for her specially would be included waited for the list to come out lo and behold lots were announced and the lipstick holder was on there so I started to get like, oh my God, this is, this is my moment. I want this, I want this. I have such a big collection. It takes a lot for me to get excited these days when things come up for auction. Um, I'm looking for really interesting items. Her sons actually wrote about it on the auction that it was, it was by her side for the whole of the 50s and 1960s. Like she always had it in her handbag during that period. I think they wrote for soirees and gatherings or something or parties and soirees. She always had it with her. So I just had to wait. And in the build up to the actual auction, they put a price on it of between, I think they said between five and six thousand dollars was the estimation. Now I knew that that was going to be low i thought it was going to go higher than that but i had no idea how high it was going to go and in my mind i'd said to myself i'm going to go up to twenty thousand for this which i know is a crazy amount of money <laughs> but this has been a lifelong passion of mine and i've been collecting for 20 years now so i was like this needs to be in my possession okay i want to own this Anyway, I remember being in Paris about two days before the actual auction became, you know, the, the actual auction and watching CNN and there'd already been a lot of publicity and the thing that was getting the most publicity was her original script from Breakfast at Tiffany's. So this is all around the same era. It was all annotated, so it was a lot of her handwriting on there and I'd heard that this was going to, you know, fetch hundreds of thousands and... I was thinking, yes, everyone focus on the script and hopefully no one's going to bid on the lipstick and I'm going to be there and I'm going to get it, you know, for a good price. Wishful thinking. Um, and I remember lying in my bed in this Paris hotel two nights before the auction and seeing this massive piece all about this lipstick holder and thinking, oh no, everyone's going to want this lipstick holder now. Um, so I was like, oh, okay am I going to have to go a bit higher who knows what's going to happen so got back late the night before the auction I decided not to go down to Christie's it was going to be live online so we had to make sure that our internet connection was really good here and had the screen all up and I had a guy at Christie's that was going to bid for me so I remember coming in and everyone saying to me things are going really high things are really expensive <laughs> and that somebody in Michigan was buying everything. So the other thing was that there was a powder compact, which was also made by Cartier. That was um, the lot before, that was lot 43, not lot 42. I thought maybe I'll bid on that. I don't want it, but maybe I can get whoever this person is in Michigan to spend money on the powder compact. And then they hopefully won't bother me when it comes to lipstick. <laughs> All my tactics were like insane. 
Anyway, um, yeah, I started to feel the adrenaline. I'm just remembering it now and I feel like, oh, I've already feel the adrenaline kicking in. The adrenaline was really kicking in. The guy rang me and he's like, hello, yes, it's so-and-so here from Christie's. And, and I could see him on the phone because there was the auctioneer and he was like two along. And he said, have you been following? Somebody in Michigan is really driving the prices up. And so I said, okay, I want to bid on the powder as well. But anyway, lot 42 started I'm on the phone and it went, up, it went up quite fast. So I'm bidding, 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 yeah, 5,000, 6,000, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You know, I'm just starting to get really panicky, thinking, I don't want this powder compact. So I got it up to 20 and then I quickly backed off. And I think he got it for 20, or he or she, I don't know who it was, got it for 21, I think. 20, I think it went for 21 something like that. I was sweating, I was sweating, my heart was beating out of my chest. And then they said, okay, the Cartier, 18 karat gold and sapphire lipstick holder, um, explained all about it. And then I just felt like I was gonna faint. And it went like this. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. it went, that's how fast it went. Anyway, it got up to 25,000, which is way, already I'm coming out in goosebumps just thinking about it. And I was panicking and it was so weird. I had this feeling so strong. It got to 25 and I was about to cut out. I felt I'm gonna cry. It was about to cut out and then I was like, no, I want this. This is mine. This person in Michigan is not meant to have this. It's me that's meant to have this. And I kind of saw red and I went really calm and strong and then we just went head to head everyone else backed out it was me and this person in michigan and we just went like that and then it really slowed down and then they said oh he or she has we think that they've backed off and i was like okay okay like shaking like this and then they put another bid in and then i was like no no this is, this is mine, this is mine. I don't care who they are. They love Audrey Hepburn, obviously. They're a big collector, respect to them. But Audrey Hepburn's lipstick holder should be owned by one person on this earth, and that is me. So I just stuck to my guns and I got it. When this person backed off and it was mine, and then they were like, okay, sold, did it. And I got off the phone and I nearly fell over. I was shaking, I was cold, I was hot, I felt sick, I'd spent so much money, I felt elated, I felt excited, I felt like I just have never felt anything like it. I've never had a trend like that um, and I've never been so happy, freaked out, terrified. <laughs> it was just so exciting. I mean, I'm over, I'm over dramatizing a bit, but I'm almost reliving the whole feeling. And that was it. And that's how I got Audrey Hepburn's <laughs> lipstick holder. Now, the first thing to say is, I thought I'd just bought a lipstick holder, okay? I didn't know that I'd bought a color as well, her color. The day I went to pick it up, um, I walked in and went over to the place and you prove that you, you've purchased it and took my passport and everything. So this comes out. Firstly, I could feel it buzzing. I know if, if you believe in energy, but I could feel the energy coming off it. And then he said, just check it, you know, make sure that you're happy with your purchase. A lot of money, obviously, crazy amount of money. So I didn't really know how to open it, but I had a feeling so. Just opened it like this, looked inside, died, <laughs> okay? Died. It's got her lipstick in it. It's nearly all used, there's a tiny amount. It's got her lips in it. It's got her DNA on it. It's got everything. And I was like, I can't believe that I have this color. How she would have used it is that she would have pushed this around, which would have pushed up the lipstick. And then she would have applied it from there. Um, I do know what brand it is, I'm not gonna say. That's gonna go with me to my grave. Everyone keeps telling me, oh, it begins with R, it begins with R. It doesn't, it doesn't. Um, and then there's the colour inside. So, I mean, there's hardly any of it. I, I, I did take this all out and it's got 
she was right down to the end of it, right down to the bottom of this very loved colour. Actually, before we deconstruct the colour, I'm going to just talk about the, the object itself. And this is a lipstick holder, which was made exclusively for Audrey Hepburn. So there is only one of these in the world. And this was made by Cartier. And it's hallmarked with the French essay, which I've had a look at myself. The stamp says that it's a minimum of 18 karat gold. And it has this beautiful sugarloaf sapphire on the front. The bottom is engraved with AF, which is quite funny in this modern day times. You're like, oh, it's Audrey AF. <laughs> Um, no, it doesn't, it's not that meaning. It means Audrey Ferrer. And this is because she was married at the time to Mel Ferrer. So it's Audrey Ferrer. She got married in 1954. And this was either made for that year or the following year. I'm going to put a little bit of this colour on my lips. I've only so far using a sterilised pin. And I'm going to show you little tiny bit that I took out when I first got it because I wanted to analyze all the pigments I wanted to see what color it was I wanted to analyze the consistency and the geek in me just wanted to see what it was and what it looked like and I put a tiny bit on my lips I was never ever I didn't I used it from the side because I want to keep the smear on the top which I'm going to show you now I know I'm being geeky here <laughs> bear with me um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take again using, I'm going to go down the same side. I'm going to take a little bit out again. Again, I don't want to take much out. I'm going to take that much out because I want to preserve the lipstick. So I'm going to put this on my lips. I'm going to take, I've got lip pencil on. I'm just going to clear. I want it to go right onto my skin because this is only the second time I've done this and I'm never going to do it again. I don't want to destroy it anymore. Okay, so here we go. I know it's not a lot of product, but we can see the color. I'm gonna blend that in with my finger. Actually, no, I'm gonna use a brush, I think, to blend that in. I can find, oh, I had two lip brushes here. Now they've all gone. I use my fingers. No, I really didn't put a lot on at all. I think I am actually going to have to put a tiny bit more on. I'm going to get a tiny bit more. I think that I'd call a true salmon pink. That's what I'd call it. It's not really a coral. It's definitely a pink. It's a corally pink, but it's a salmon. That's what I would say it is. I love love this color oh this is i've now got some microscopic audrey hepburn dna slash skin cells on my lips can we just think about that honestly when i got this when i picked up the lipstick i have to say i slept with it under my pillow the first night i don't know why i don't know if you believe in energy but i it just, I could feel something coming off it. I could just feel it was alive and it was meant to be mine. And I kept it under my pillow and I just felt like there was something coming off it. I, I was just, I can't really explain it, but I know a lot of that will be me um, transferring my thoughts and my feelings onto an inanimate object. But I, I could... I felt something, I really did. Whether I made it up myself or whether it was genuinely there, I really I really did feel it and I felt like I was meant to have it. I have actually made a pot. This is using the, um, the first bit of lipstick that I took. I analyzed the pigment and I've made my own pot of it just so I can wear it every day. So I'm gonna see, this is my own version. Uh, I'm just gonna put that on. So you can see the color completely without me having to destroy my precious, precious thing. I've actually updated the formula a little bit as well. It was quite waxy. Just gonna put, add a little bit more with the lip 
brush so you can really see the colour. So this is kind of like a modern day, slightly more lightweight formula. I'm going to use it on my cheeks as well, just to audrify my cheeks. When I first saw this colour, I was reminded of that. There's a scene, a deleted scene in Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is like the strip club. And she's got the glasses on and she's in the club and she pulls the glasses down and she's got this amazing salmon pink lipstick. That's why I think, that's the first thing I thought of at Christie's when I realised that I'd actually bought lipstick as well as a lipstick holder. And I was so excited. Ooh, my eyeliner's coming up, getting emotional. So that is my dream summer colour forever now. Thank you, Audrey. So I'm going to have to say good night. She's going back to the safe. That's the one thing about buying something which is iconic and very expensive. I have to keep it in a safe and I can't keep it at home. I have to go and visit. It's like I go and visit my um, some of my very precious bits and... Um, I don't get to see them that often, but uh, it's worth it when I see them. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a rather geeky adventure, but um, I hope it was fu as fun for you as it was for me. See you soon.